anyway, so those will be coming up a little bit later. And also, do I have the incredible Tim Wilkins joining me later? Tim Wilkins is amazing. Um, anyway, he brings us these wonderful tumblers. tumblers. They're called Arctica. I will tell you right off the bat, um, you've probably seen the, the other versions out there. Wonderful versions. I've got a couple of them at the house. I have the Ar Arctica too. The only big difference is they're very expensive. The other ones are about twice the price. Nothing wrong with them. I don't I don't poo-poo other products, I, especially if they're great, and they are. But why spend, you know, 40, 50 bucks on these things uh, and... and by the way, when I bought my first one, it was like 30 something dollars for one. We're doing a two pack of these Arctica tumblers for only $29.90. So what makes them so special? Well, first of all, they are virtually indestructible. I've seen, I'm not gonna do it right now, but I've seen, you know, Tim stands on these and does everything else. And what you've got in here is, and do you want me to give you my Mr. Science? Do you wanna, do you wanna hear about Mr. Science? All right, so um, anyway, let's let's talk about it. So, so in a vacuum, <laughs> Um, temperature does not travel through a vacuum. So what they do is they create a vacuum inside. It's like if you're in space, there's no temperature in space unless you have an object in space, in which case it reflects uh, heat or it reflects cold, whatever. So an object in space will either be very hot or very cold, depending on what it's if it's near the sun or not, whatever. But in a vacuum, temperature does not travel. So they put a vacuum, this is, this is two layers of steel, and they, they create a vacuum inside, and that way nothing that's on the inside can get out and nothing that's on the outside can get in. So heat does not affect the cold that's inside. So you can keep this, in fact, I was at the beach the other day, I had ice in my drink for four hours. It didn't melt at all. I mean, it's unbelievable how this stuff maintains temperature. It does the same with hot. So if you were to put coffee in there, soup or whatever, and you put the, the, the lid on top of these things, it's gonna stay hot pretty much for the entire day. I will have ice and leave it in my car and two days later come back and there's still ice in there, it's ridiculous. Um, so it's a really neat way to be able to drink your drinks cold, drink your drinks hot. There is no hot or cold transfer through. Uh, you know how when you hold a coffee cup and it can sometimes be like, oh, that's hot, burns your hand. You're not gonna have to deal with that as well. Because of that insulation, you will feel nothing other than just whatever the room temperature is on the, on the exterior, that's it. So nothing on the inside affects the outside, nothing on the outside affects the end. We're doing a two pack of these um, they're like I said they're virtually indestructible they are on sale today for 29 they're half price we're also they are free shipping and handling as well so think about it. and this is the time you want them it's summer it's summertime and you know how hot it is here and by the way are we ever gonna get like any clear weather here again it's been cloudy and hot and nasty in Florida for like the past 10 days and let me tell you I, I hope you're drinking lots of water because it's it's that it's that water drinking time of year right now as it gets really hot but you take these to the gym my favorite part is like I said I can get up like I did this morning at, or this morning, I should say tonight, I got up at, at midnight and uh, filled my thing with ice. That thing will be, will have ice in it for the next two or three days. It, it's really, and you save a bundle on ice because you're not melting ice. It stays in there and it stays nice and cold. You will love it. We only have about two minutes left. We'll put our clock up, but if you like this for your coffee in the morning, and again, you won't burn your hands on this. You know, you put coffee in most anything else, even a coffee mug, it's gonna, it, it gets hot, right? You know it does. That's because the heat is being released through the cup. In that vacuum we talked about, the heat can't go anywhere. It's stuck inside the cup, so it lasts virtually for hours and hours and hours, and you never have to worry about, you know, throwing it in the zapper or adding more ice. It stays at temperature all day. It's very similar to how a cooler works. In fact, you know, they're starting to make coolers out of this material. Um, I bought one of those big insulated coolers. Things are amazing. Take advantage of the science and technology. You don't really care how it works. All you care is that it works and get a couple of these. We're doing a two for here. When's Father's Day, Sunday? So, hey, listen, I'm not saying you'll get it for Father's Day. What's today, Wednesday? I kind of lost track of the days. You guys live in that world, right? You're just like, it's just a week. We don't know what day. It doesn't matter. Um, but uh, now, honestly, uh, grab one of these. You might get it for Father's Day. If not, take a picture of it and put it on a card and tell Dad he's got some, he's got some nice mugs coming. And dads love things like this, right? Somebody bought me a mug, I'd be like, that's nice. Thank you. It's better than a tie. What am I going to do with a tie? When, you know the last time I wore a tie? I have no idea when was the last time I wore a tie. Or a pair of socks. Yeah, Rob, right? What, who wants that? Remember tie clips? You guys don't remember tie clips. Do you remember? People used to wear tie clips and things like that. <laughs> they're, they're terrible. Although they're probably going to come back in style. They're so bad. They're kind of like, I guess they're like bell bottoms and things like that. I never wore, bell, yeah, I wore bell bottoms. My, my mom used to make pants. My mom used to actually, my mom learned how to sew, but she never knew how to make zippers. So we have pictures of me and my poor brother like miserable with pants with no zippers. She just put stretch things on the top. I was like, what is that? She never learned how to make zippers. I don't know where I'm going with this.
Anyway. Hey, by the way, thank you, Rob. So the, uh, this is coming back 